It is 8 a.m. and here I am in Davis on my way to another transit adventure. Um, today's transit adventure, I'm going to take a cute little trip to Yuba Sutter County. Um, no, not Sutter County. Yuba Sutter Transit um, up in the city of Marysville in Yuba City. Um, and right now I'm biking to the Mondavi Center to catch the Route 138. And you might be asking why I'm not just going from the silo where I normally go. Well, the 138 actually leaves from the Mondavi Center 20 minutes after it leaves from the silo. So I get to sleep in for an extra 20 minutes. Anyway, let's go. was my ride on the 138. Here I am at T and 34th Street, and I have about 25 minutes to bike 30 blocks back to Midtown, because the way the 138 operates is it drops me off in the east part of Sacramento, but the commuter bus that I'm taking to Yuba City leaves from Midtown. So, time to bike along T Street. That'll take me to Midtown. Just kidding, the Route 38 is gonna take me there. I made it to Sacramento Midtown, but there's very, very little time to spare, so I'm hurrying to catch the Route MD. That's gonna take me to Yuba City today. Hopefully, there's still a chance I could miss it. So, Yuba Sutter Transit runs a commuter service to Sacramento from Yuba City. However, because it's the off-peak of 9 a.m., the buses run very infrequently, so if I miss this one, it's a three-hour wait until the next one. But I made it to the bus stop. The live tracker seems to show that the bus is very close, and I should be on my way to Yuba City soon. There it is, but of course it's not in my lane. So I made it on board the 1MD. This is the midday commuter service that's going back to Yuba City. Um, because this is a reverse peak service, I highly doubt anybody else will really be on board with me for the rest of the run. But I'm glad I made it. That was that was stressful. So, interestingly, this is also one of the few coach buses I've ever seen that has front-mounted bike racks. Um, normally, with coach buses, it's a long process of putting your bike in the. Um, Caught the skirt? No, we're not. Um, it's a long process of putting your bike in the luggage compartment, and that can often be hard to do. Um, the, there was one time I rode Soul Trans, and I jammed my thumb just a little on the bike, on like the bike luggage compartment. But I like having the bike racks on the front. Um, there are some pros and cons for having the bike racks on the front versus on the back. So when you have the bike racks on the front, that's an extra five feet of bus that the driver now has to navigate, especially in the tight streets of downtown uh, Sacramento. So often, coach bus drivers will just have it in the um, in the luggage racks. But I thought it was interesting. 
and onwards towards Yuba City we go, but actually this bus is going to Marysville because there's two cities that are right next to each other, Yuba City and Marysville. The reason I'm going to Yuba City today is because I want to go on a little bike ride that's in Yuba City. So I'm going to Marysville and then I'm switching. smallest of parking rides. So after a, not brief, but a nice lot ride to, uh, to Yuba City, or well, Marysville actually, um, I'm now here at Marysville Government Center just waiting to transfer to the Route 1. It's going to take me to Yuba City itself. So a little update, I've actually decided that um, instead of taking the bus across the bridge to Marysville, I'm just going to bike, and or across the bridge to Yuba City, I'm just going to bike and cut out the middleman and start my ride a little bit early instead of waiting around for the bus another 10, 20 minutes. Is the Twin Cities Memorial Bridge. I feel like generally the Twin Cities are referring to, um, well, places that aren't Yuba City and Marysville, but uh, here we are, I guess. It looks like across the bridge there, there's an old railroad bridge, meaning there's railroad history. Here goes one of the city buses. So, I'm currently biking along this like levee pathway and it's interesting because like I can't really figure out the vibe to this place. Um, obviously it's very car centric and like suburban, suburban. There's also like industrial areas next to me and like the bus system is lacking to say the least. Um, but it's still interesting that they run like midday service to Sacramento that I was able to just hop on and go. Um, and I guess there is still buses, there is still bus service. I just haven't really um, ridden a lot of it because well, I have my bike, and sometimes it's just more convenient for me to bike places than it is to load it, load it and unload it from the buses. Um, but yeah, 
it's also interesting that they have like some amount of bike infrastructure. Way off in the distance there, there's a train. It's a freight train. Unfortunately, this is where I leave the trail and begin biking on the suburban strodes of Yuba City. Okay, this isn't really a strode. There's a little museum here. I don't think it's open though because it's, uh, well, a Wednesday. Now this is a big fat strode. Unfortunate. Here's one of the Yuba Sutter cutaways. As I'm like on the sidewalk and that. There goes the bus I was originally gonna take. After about five miles or 30 minutes of biking, here I am on the Yuba Sutter bike path. Um, this is a, about another five mile-ish multi-use trail that runs from uh, Yuba City to the, to, the, to the town of Sutter. Um, kind of ironic that Yuba Sutter Transit doesn't go to Sutter, but I will. So it's another five or so miles on this bike trail, and we'll see where it takes me. And after about five miles in this very industrial area with grain silos, the trail just ends. Um, I'm assuming that's because it's all the funding they had to uh, turn the old train tracks, which this is a rail trail, obviously, um, turn the train tracks into trails. But now I'm in the town of Sutter, so I'm going to do a little lap of town, I guess, and then bike on back towards Yuba City. Now that I've done a lap of Sutter, I have concluded that yes, people do live here, and yes, this is a town. Amazing, right? Anyway, now it's time to hop back onto the bike trail towards Yuba City. Uh, I'm gonna start making my way back to Davis, even though it's before noon, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, back on towards the bike trail, and back to Davis I go. Way off in the distance there, behind the buttes, you can kind of see some snow on the mountains. And there's the buttes.
So I'm at a bit of a decision point right now. Um, if I bike the way I came and not take the bus, um, it'll be 43 minutes and I can make it to the government center station, uh, bus stop and just catch the next midday back to SAC. However, if I want to get a bus ride in and I don't necessarily want to go the way I came, it means I'll have to wait an extra hour and 30 minutes. So decision point to think about, uh, think about whether or not I want to ride the city bus or just go back to SAC. So, in case you can't tell by the marginally faster speed at which I am biking, I have decided that I'm going to try to catch the next bus instead of taking um, Yuba Sutter Transit around the city today. So, onwards towards Government Center. Let's see if I can make it. Google Maps says it'll take 35 minutes, and I have 37 to catch the bus. Whew. Final stretch of the bike path, and then it's back on the normal road. I am, however, taking an ever so slightly different route back, just for funsies. There's a Route 5 bus, but unfortunately, it won't get me where I need to go. Biking past some government offices like a gamer. Your bus report is that another one does exist. Whoa! I made it back to the levee. Home stretch, and I'll make it to my bus. Oh, I am speeding so much right now. bridge before the government center. And I'm back in Marysville. The government center is up ahead of me. About 10 minutes to spare to my bus. I made good time. And that was my visit to Yuba Sutter area. Um, I even had time to go into the government offices and use the bathroom before my bus, but my bus is right there, so it's time to go back to SAC. And so that concludes my visit to, let's see, Marysville, where I am right now, Yuba City, where I bike through, and Sutter. Um, it was good. It was a 20 mile ride. Um, didn't really get any bus action in except for the midday commuters, but that's okay. Uh, Yuba City is definitely like, Yuba County is definitely the vibes of like, it faces the problems that many suburbs have, which is that the bus and public transit only exists for people who have no other option. And as such, that leads to like very car centric developments like this massive parking lot that's sitting behind me. So that's kind of unfortunate, but it's a suburban problem that many places face and the Yuba city area is no exception. Um, still managed to get a decent 20 mile ride in and yeah, not my worst experience, so good times. Now it's time to head back towards SAC and then I'll be going back to Davis.
around after another short, uh, well not short, but pleasant ride on the Yuba Sutter Transit midday commuter. Here I am back in Sacramento. Um, it hasn't left yet because it's still got a few minutes to leave. But now I have to make it back towards Davis and I could take the Yola Bus 42A, but I'm feeling kind of adventurous today, so why don't I bike back to Davis? What's well, another 20 miles on top of the 20 I already biked? has one of these bad boys on the 37 today. No way. After biking for a little bit, I actually realized that I can use that uh, Orion 7 OG that Yolo Bus was rounding that I just showed um, and ride it to the West Sac Transit Center. Uh, the Yolo Bus uh, Orion 7 OG that I was showing is very special because it's from 2003 to 2002 and they're a type of bus that Yolo Bus is planning on replacing. So, always good to get a ride in while I still can. So, yeah, gonna take the 37 to West Sac and then bike to Davis from there. Oh, this is another Orion 7? You gonna stop for me? Thank you, Yola Bus. Very cool. Okay, so let's talk about that little gamer movement from the 41 driver. Um, I'm upset because, like, well, I really wanted to ride the 2003 Orion 7, and I obviously didn't get to do that. Um, it, didn't, it, all, it doesn't really matter that much because it was just like a couple blocks, but like, come on, YOLO bus, like, be better. It's just unfortunate. Anyway, cars are going. Time to keep biking towards Davis. So there's the bus I was originally going to catch on the Route 37. No ride today, though. It just sucks because, like, sometimes when drivers see a dude with a camera, they decide that, well, today is not the day that they want to deal with that so they just leave which sucks obviously because you know I want to make my videos and I want to have good transit adventures but it's just getting harder and harder to do but yeah onwards towards Davis so I was just biking minding my own business and then a sack RT Gillig out of nowhere looks like it's been scrapped that's a rip. Back on the bike trail. It's Cosplay Time Gamers. Back to Davis. Let's do this. So, as you can see, I am currently on the causeway. Um, as the name implies, it's a causeway over the YOLO cause. Um, and it's about seven miles. Very unpleasant to bike on. Uh, but I biked it twice before, and today makes three. So seven miles on this, and then I'll be off of the causeway. Yeah. There's no way my camera picks it up, but the causeway is so long. My eyes can actually see it curve downwards ever so slightly. The earth is not flat, people.
almost off the causeway. And I made it off the causeway. So, the causeway is one of three parts to my bike ride back to Davis. So, just finished part one. Part two is to go down the country county road right there. Um, and the, the interest is not going to go down by a car while filming. I don't know how much of it I'll be able to show you. And then part three will be another bike path along 80, but that one is probably less uh, headache inducing. The road seems pretty quiet, so y'all get to see a little as a treat. Finally off the county road, back onto the trail. So fortunately, the county road that I just biked on is pretty well known because of people that bike between Sac and Davis like me. Uh, so drivers on there are generally not as unhinged as uh, some other country roads. There's also like decently wide shoulders, so it's not that bad to bike on. Um, so if you're from Davis and watching this and want to bike to Sac, 32A isn't that bad. Um, it's also mostly just used as a frontage road for when 80 gets super backed up uh, because it parallels 80 all the way to the causeway and cars um, normally just use that as a frontage road. But it's time to take this bike path and this bike path will take me all the way back to my apartment. There's a Unitrans bus, the W line, just went through the Cowell roundabout. that every day. So after that interesting track geometry car pass, I think here is as good a time as any to end my video. So some closing thoughts. Um, I've definitely had better adventures before. Um, Yuba was Yuba City was interesting. The bike ride was nice. Um, easy 20 miler and then I still had energy for more. Um, the Yola bus drive, I'm still salty about that but like it's bound to happen every few videos. But on the other hand, like, picking passengers up is, like, 90% of my job, so... Anyway. Uh, yeah. Bit of an untraditional end because there's no, like, last mode of transport. Here I am just on my bike. But thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.